Hello, this is Miss Andrea, and I want to talk about a new, well, not a new, not a new. I want to talk about an app called Quizlet. It's been around for a while, but I've been basically ignoring it because um, I thought there was a cost to it. Every time I opened it, I'd use it for a minute. It would say, you know, sign up, and then I would just sign out and not explore it further. But I finally got around to exploring it further today. So let's talk about it. So what you see here is the function we kind of all know about. Um, you can drop your own vocabulary list into Quizlet and then have children test themselves flashcard style. It's just a great way to study for and to prepare for a test. So basically, you know, each word will load separately and you can guess the definition and then flip it over and see if you're correct. So that's just a really huge feature of Quizlet. So I'm gonna let that play for a bit. So um, I really think I'm going to integrate this into my homeschool um, history program because I spend a couple of hours a week making homework. And with this, all I have to do is pull the important words and it'll load. And then I won't have to make several different activities because all the activities that they'll need to get the important words into their heads will be right there, ready for them to practice in several different ways. So I just did the first 10 of 44, just so that you could see how it works. Um, I had already pulled that um, word list also because I'm working on ancient history. So um, this is a section that I'm currently teaching and so it'll come in super handy for the kids so this part here is a um, more of multiple choice so first we did flashcards and now we're doing multiple choice Some of these are kind of trick questions because I've noticed that they'll put the word in it. And so you'll go, well, the word's in it, so it's not this one. And then it is that one. It's a little upsetting, but it is what it is. You know, it makes you have to think. It reminds me of the way that you learn with um, Duolingo. It cycles it back around if you got it wrong. It tells you the answer and it cycles it back around to make sure that the answer it gave you stuck. Um, Khan Academy used to be like this in the early days. Um, it's still a little bit like this, but not quite. So let's speed things up a little, shall we?
So after the multiple choice, it has to fill in the blanks. So at this time, you should have a better idea of what you're talking about. I personally haven't studied this particular list yet, so I didn't know what I was talking about. I didn't remember. But there you can just see how it works. Almost got it right. And then they have spelling, because you need to be able to spell these things correctly. Um, what you don't hear is when I press that sound button there, it says the word out loud. And then you have to type it. If you get it wrong, it shows you your error and has you do it again until you get it correctly. This is an excellent way to study any kind of vocabulary and spelling list. Super, super um, good way to do that. The only thing that's missing here is when you get it right, I just expect a little celebration <laughs> of some sort, like a star or something. I'll just go right to the next one. It seems, I don't know, cold. Okay, this is a test portion of it um, where it's going to give you the vocabulary or you know whatever material you want the student to study in several different ways there's a fill in the blank which I skipped there and there's a couple of different types of um, matching answers and things like that and then it um, shoots out your score at the end. So that's really cool. I personally have a few children working on Science Bowl right now, and I think I'm going to give this to them for their science terminology so that they can answer the questions better. But I'm definitely also going to integrate this into my history and my government classes. I think it's going to be really useful, and I'm glad that I stopped ignoring it and decided to go ahead and give it a try.
So each section must have been weighed differently as I received this 70% when I skipped a whole section. But um, this is really cool because the kids can do it and the parents can print it and then I can see their work or they can even screenshot it and send it out. Um, this one was um, another matching. Not as easy, but I liked it. And it's not supposed to be easy. I'm sorry I'm not showing you the whole screen. They were just ads that I just didn't want you guys to have to deal with. But I hope you like my little avatars. Um, there was this cool like planetary game and you had to answer the questions before the asteroid hit. Um, freaked me out I didn't do it, but I know the kids will enjoy it greatly. So this has been my review of Quizlet, a free website that provides learning tools for your students, quality flashcards, study and game modules. You can start by creating your own study sets with terms and definitions. You can copy and paste from another source or use Quizlet's built-in auto-define feature to speed up the creating process. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's useful to you in your homeschooling or as a teacher in your classroom. So until next time.